What's going on guys? My name is Tom from Dread Labs and today we're going to do collages. Dread Labs. All right, so as some of you might know, I released a paper package uh, a little while ago and there's something cool that I didn't really explain in the video yet. So I thought let's just get to it in another video. And that is creating collages. And you've probably seen these around uh, on the internet, on Instagram. Uh, they're getting quite popular uh, from what I've seen. So I thought let's just do uh, a quick little video on how to create digital collages and I'll give you a few different ways on how I try to cut these, how to give these paper tear effects and more. So let's just get into it. Okay, to begin with, I actually have a few different pictures that I want to drag into my Photoshop file here. All right, so the first thing that I would like to do is give all of these a paper texture onto them because they're really nice pictures, but collages need to have paper textures in my opinion. And the way we're going to do that is with the Dreadlabs paper pack. Um, so I have over 64 high definition or I have 64 uh, high definition paper textures here. Okay, so let me show you how to uh, apply a paper texture to one of these pictures. So if you just drag them in, let's start with the top one here, which is the picture of all the locks. Let's just uh, hold other option and apply a clipping mask. So uh, the paper texture will only be visible where uh, our picture is. And depending on what like setting you like, you can play around with the blend modes. Uh, I really like these screen and uh, lighten ones. Um, but for a lighter color, you can see that the dark parts are a bit better visible. If you want it a little bit more subtle, you can use an overlay. I think I'm gonna go with the exclusion because I really like how washed out the picture will get. Uh, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna group these. Okay, so with the group selected, I'm gonna convert it into a smart object and uh, let's just call this locks. So if I want to transform this later, uh, there's a little bit of inconvenience and that's the uh, border edge here. So uh, what we're going to do by that is we're going to go double click on the thumbnail of our locks smart object. I'm going to go and hold command or control to select the underlying picture. And if we go to image crop, which is uh, for me the shortcut shift command X. Uh, and we click on save and we can just close this document. Uh, if we trans when transform this, the bounding box will actually be where the picture is. So I'm just going to apply all the paper textures to my pictures and I'll see you after the time lapse. All right, so quick break. Um, as you can see, I've done something a little bit different. Um, so what I did is with the paper texture here, I use a curves to lighten it up just a little bit and I mask it out so that uh, our uh, paper texture is the same size as our uh, photo of a uh, lock. And instead of uh, putting the paper texture over the picture, I'm putting the picture on top and turning it to a soft light, which gives this effect. See, so yeah, I really, there isn't no like right or wrong way to go about this. If the picture blends in well enough, in your opinion, you're good to go. Uh, I'm just going to continue with these and I'll see you after the time lapse. All right. Um, so I'm done finishing up all of these uh, paper textures. So now we're going to try and create some composition, a cool composition. Uh, let's just put these two to the front because I cut them out. Uh, as well as the skull. Um, so yeah, now it's just a, basically like experimenting things you could, you, know, you think would be cool. Um, and let me just do that right now and then I'll try to explain to you how to create paper tears and paper cuts uh, in these collages. All right, so this should be fine for now for the sake of this tutorial. What I'm gonna do now is I wanna show you how to create brushes uh, so you can mask out these images with paper textures, I guess. So in the Dreadlabs uh, paper pack, we also have tiers. And as you can see, these are real high definition. And basically what we're going to do is we're going to drag one of these into Photoshop. The first thing we need to do is use this to define a brush preset. And uh, that's sadly not possible with an image that's like almost seven or 8,000 pixels wide. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to image mode, or no, sorry, we're gonna go to image, image size. 
and we're going to adjust the width to two and a half thousand pixels here. And by holding Command or Control, and we're clicking on the thumbnail. If we go to Edit, Define Brush Preset, we can just use the name this Paper Tier. And now we have a brush. Uh, let's just turn these off for now. Let's click on the mask here. If we click here, we can actually mask this out, as you can see. Uh, now that I see it, there's something we need to do first, and that's we need to fill this layer up with 100% black, I think. And then if we define the brush preset, we should be good to go. Yeah. All right. Uh, so yeah, let me just uh, create some of these brushes and I'll mask these out and I'll get back to you in the time after the time lapse. All right, so uh, now that all the brushes are sampled, you can see that they're appearing here in the brush menu. Uh, let's just mask some of these out so we can make the edges a little bit more realistic than they are. So we're gonna go like this. And why I sampled multiple brushes is because obviously it will look a little bit less realistic if you uh, just use one brush and you see the same edge over and over again. So by rotating your canvas, uh, this is easier to do on uh, Mac than Windows, I think, because I'm just rotating my uh, touchpad. Okay, let's turn this one off and then we'll do the edge of the car here. Okay. Uh, let's put the locks to the background here. I think that would be cooler. And then we can move this a bit to right here. And I need to mask a part of this car out still. So let's just do that now. All right, let's see. And I think the car is a bit too dark. So let's just lighten it up a little bit. Like that. Make this one smaller and I think the red of the rows we can use that maybe here on the lock or something. And now we can mask this part of the lock out because we don't really need it here. All right. Uh, okay, so there you have it, your collage. Uh, so one other thing that you can do if you are interested in that is adding a little drop shadow and some inside paper tears. Uh, and what I mean by inside paper tears are is, let's see if I can show it to you guys. So if you look here, you can kind of see here on the edge here that you, you know, paper sometimes just tears in the middle, I guess. So if you would like to simulate that effect, let me show you how to do that. Um, so let's pick the picture of the locks, for example, here. And let's say we want to have the edge here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure that I have a certain brush selected. And let's make sure that we know which uh, brush we're using um, because we need to mask something in the same brush twice in the same position. So for example, let's just click here. All right. So I need to remember this brush or I have it uh, basically like keep it. Don't any change any of the settings. As you can see, my brush is kind of in the same place where it was right now, but there's a little bit of overlap on top of here and I'm just gonna click once and then make this into a clipping mask and as you can see uh, the white is basically uh, the paper tear here and what you can do is uh, move it around a little bit so or maybe even morph it a bit by holding control playing around with these points here so the edge will not be the same width everywhere. Okay, so and now you will probably want to make this a little bit more yellow or something. Uh, so let's drag in one more last paper texture. So we need to clip this to the picture, but we also need to mask it out with our uh, white paper. 
so like this and as you can see this now has a paper texture but it's still the wrong color um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab like a warm white like something like this clip it to the uh, mask and uh, we're gonna go and uh, duplicate this mask here so what we're gonna do is hold all our option on your keyboard and drag this over and now we can set this to like overlay perhaps and then we reduce the opacity a little bit and because we have dark paper let's increase the light here by adding a curves so yeah, now we have like a light beige paper tier on the side here so to finish this up let's just create a quick background group all of these into the collage and let's create like a gradient maybe wash it out a little bit by decreasing the saturation and let's add a paper texture i know i said uh, the tier was the last one but And now it has come to my attention. What is this? Oh, we lost the clipping mask. Need to clip those again. If we put this to screen, actually, I maybe want to make this darker. So let's just do a quick curves. No, let's just, let's remove the cur uh, curves. Actually, I want to make the collage just a little bit smaller. And maybe like let's add some subtle drop shadow to these uh, like top parts here. Just a really small one like this. And we can just copy the layer style and apply it to the other ones. Like that. And it just creates a little bit more of the depth. Um, so yeah. All right, guys, that's it for the tutorial. Um, I hope you liked it, and I hope I was able to inspire you a little bit on creating with paper textures and paper tiers, uh, making collages. So I want to take a moment in this video to appreciate all of my patrons. Uh, thanks to my patrons, I'm able to create more tutorials for you guys, more social media content, and more products. So uh, yeah, shout out to my patrons. Uh, if you don't know, uh, you can grab this project file and all of my project files for my tutorials if you become a patron. Uh, you'll also get a 15% discount in the Red Labs web store as well as a Discord role. So yeah, if you want to become a patron, the link is in the description. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments and or you can join us on Discord and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.